Hello everyone, I am the your math facilitator. So let's quickly discuss the most important questions of biology. I know it is very late. I am very sorry for that. So let us start with the very first chapter. Okay, so only important questions I am telling you and these are the questions which you should not leave. Okay, the first chapter if I take, so nutrition. Please learn the process of photosynthesis and please learn the experiment of, you know, evolution of oxygen. Okay, so you have an experiment, do you remember evolution of oxygen? So, please learn that experiment as well and also uh, precautions to be taken in this experiment. So, when you are learning the experiments, you will learn completely along with the apparatus till the precautions you are going to take. Okay, and also uh, human digestive system. So, learn about human digestive system, the how to draw the diagram of human digestive system and uh, when the table is given to you, okay, so of what different uh, diseases you may get and wh what different acids uh, you have, okay, so in which different food you find the um, califerol and all. So, learn that table which is given in your textbook. So, you will find this table in the textbook. So, please do learn this table. Okay. So, different acid, different food and this different diseases. Okay. So, apart from that, now let's proceed to respiration chapter. Okay. In this chapter, I am telling you only the most important questions. So, in this chapter, you will learn anaerobic anaerobic respiration process. Okay, how do you show the an anaerobic respiration process, the procedure with the materials required and all. And you will learn the difference between photosynthesis and respiration. Okay, and also you will learn uh, how to draw the diagram of cellular respiration. Okay, so cellular respiration in an organelle. So this figure and you will also learn how to explain it. Okay, cellular respiration and also the pathway of respiration in human. Okay, human respiratory system and also please learn the flow charts okay given to you in the textbooks the flow chart or table so this is common for every chapter wherever you find flow charts table please do learn them and apart from that human respiratory system cellular respiratory system difference between photosynthesis and respiration and the procedure of ana anaerobic respiration so this is what you will learn in chapter 2 now chapter 3 transportation in this chapter now, I want you all to learn transportation of blood with, between heart and blood vessels, okay, with neat label diagram, okay, and also experiment. I want to learn you the experiment between root pressure, okay, between the root pressure and transpiration process. And also learn artery structure of arteries arteries veins and blood capillaries arteries veins and blood capillaries and how are they helping in your blood circulation so you will learn this and then the table again so whatever table you have in your textbook so you will learn that table okay basically the difference between arteries and veins so, you will have to analyze the difference between arteries, vein, blood capillaries and what are the roles and functions. Okay. Now, moving on to the next chapter, excretion. So, in this chapter, you will learn the structure of nephron. Okay, neat label diagram and explanation. Okay, so describing. And also you will learn the internal structure of kidney. Okay, structure of nephron, kidney along with the figure. And you will learn secondary metabolites. Secondary metabolites of plants. 
okay and their uses and also learn the stages of urine formation please learn the stages of urine formation okay and moving on to the next chapter control and coordination so in this particular chapter control and coordination so let me give you the essay questions firstly so all the tables you will learn and apart from the tables please learn the structure of human brain and describe the working okay the parts and the working of human brain the structure and also various parts of human brain okay so human brain you will learn the parts the structure and you will try to describe it and uh, endocrine and endocrine glands okay so you will learn about endocrine glands in various parts okay pituitary gland the different types of glands pituitary gland thyroid gland testes and the location hormone secreted in it and what is the response to the body okay so these four glands are important okay so pituitary gland thyroid gland ovaries testes and ad adrenal gland so you will learn them and also you will learn the uses okay you will learn the uses of uh, pyto hormones okay so auxins what are the uses of auxins so this you will learn clear auxins cytokinins gibberellins so all of this all the pyto hormones you will learn and all the endocrine glands these two okay all the different types and brain and its function right let's proceed to the next chapter reproduction in reproduction give me a second yes in reproduction you will learn human uh, firstly is female reproductive system please learn the female reproductive system along with diagrams now all these essay questions which i am telling you along with figures you will learn and you will also learn the apparatus and procedure followed for sper sporangia okay of rhizopus and then you will learn the neat label diagram of bisexual flower and also please learn about double fertilization and triple fusion of angiosperms okay so these are the important questions of reproduction and then heredity from heredity and evolution so you will learn what is mono breed mono hybrid you will learn what is mono hybrid mono hybrid uh, cross breast okay mono hybrid cross based on any one character okay based on any one character you will have to learn and also please learn evolution evidence evolution's evidence with examples and also learn theory of natural selection darwin's theory okay so these are the questions you will learn from the heredity chapter so these are the very important questions apart from this for short and very short you try to learn okay for short basically whatever bold letters you have in your textbook try to learn those definitions okay and uh, behind the lesson points to remember and if there are any fill in the blanks you will learn that all the figures which are covered here in the session are compulsory and all the questions are also compulsory for every chapter you have four to five questions maximum okay so please do learn all these questions right so i'll see you all in uh, tomorrow again with social questions so i hope uh, this session will be helpful for you so and i wish you all the very best for your exam so do write your exam very well and come back and let me know how how did you write your exam so bye bye people take care i'll not waste much of your time please start learning